Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and I'm so glad to have you joining me for another Sunday Reset. Today's video was filmed literally yesterday when I got back from a full day of soccer. We are in full spring um, activity mode. It's crazy. I'm either at a dance competition on the weekend or soccer games so I did not have a Sunday reset pre-filmed this past week the week before spring break is absolutely insane at work I'm so sorry there wasn't a Wednesday video but it's just absolutely crazy right now so I did not even have my Sunday reset filmed I try to film the Sunday before but here we are nonetheless so I'm happy to have you joining me even if it is a little bit of a shorter video I appreciate you being here let's go ahead and get some stuff done as you can see my house is a little bit messy this is actually 90% better than what my house looked like 90% of the week I can't even tell you how crazy my house looked as we were trying to just survive the insane week there's Danny he's working on folding laundry for me we had mountains of laundry and we still do we only got through about half of it but that's okay because you know what we just like I said we're in survival mode my husband had his co-worker say to him that she's been in education for 17 years and had never seen a week like we had last week down to the point where it was mental health breakdowns left and right it was physical fights it was teachers questioning their 30-year careers just absolute insanity so I'm happy we made it through and Friday night we decided to have a little bit of a family cleanup so we all came together to clean up however it didn't all get done and that's okay you know it's it like I said it was just about survival mode so I'm happy that on this day on this Saturday I was able to enjoy three of my boys playing soccer and come home and get the house put back together while I was gone my teenage son who had a game first thing in the morning he came home and did dishes and put dishes away my son who doesn't play soccer he plays track or he runs track he also helped to get things put away so what you're seeing like I said is 90% better than my house looked for most of the week but that's okay it we just had to get through and that's what we did we all just we just got through so I hope your week was smoother than mine we're gonna go ahead and get these dishes done Griffin requested fettuccine Alfredo for his birthday dinner so that is what I made he also requested a Nutella pie which is like a no-bake um, like cheesecake kind of thing uh, I can link that for you down below if that's something you're interested in it was pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and get all these dishes done and then we're gonna move into some other chores This past week, our weather was crazy too. I wish it had been our spring break. We have spring break so very late where we live. Now it's this week, which I think they did it because Patriots Day is tomorrow. So we only technically had to miss four days. So it doesn't like tack on more days at the end of the school year. So I don't know, I guess I appreciate that. However, I really could have used the break this week. I think we all could have but we had the most beautiful weather. It was hot. There were days it was almost 95 degrees. It was crazy. High fire warnings, but it was just beautiful. It's like we were back in Las Vegas and it felt like spring there. And of course, today it's raining and it's supposed to rain multiple times this week on our spring break, but that's okay. We're just gonna be really thankful we don't have to go to work. Thank you. 
I was recently out of Barkeeper's Friend, which is what I use to clean my farmhouse sink here. It is a porcelain sink. It does a great job at getting out like all the metal scuffs that you get from washing your pots and pans. However, I had run out, so I actually used my Clorox toilet bowl cleaner. I saw someone else on Instagram do that, and I was like, let me give it a shot because you clean your white porcelain toilet with it so why not and it did a fantastic job so it kind of weirded me out I have no idea why I I thought it was just strange to put toilet bowl cleaner in my sink but it's cleaner it's not like I'm putting toilet bowl water <laughs> uh, so what I've been doing now that I got more barkeepers friend is alternating between this and the toilet bowl cleaner because it really did do a great job so if I've had chicken or anything like that raw chicken in here I'll use the toilet bowl cleaner because it is a disinfectant and I just feel like it gives a little bit more clean so if you've never tried cleaning your white porcelain sink with toilet bowl cleaner give it a shot it sounds weird I don't know it feels bizarre to put that gel anywhere but the toilet but it really does a great job As I mentioned, my family and I did a family cleanup on Friday night just to kind of get the house into a more manageable spot before Saturday morning when we needed to be all different places at different times. And I have to tell you, it really did make a huge difference. This week, I didn't even request that my kids get their chores done because we were all just so shot by the end of the days it was insane we have not had a week like this in so long I there is something to be said about spring fever when the weather changes and everybody is just ready to be outside and to have a change of scenery the school year feels so long by the time you get here when I lived in Las Vegas we were out of school before the week right before Memorial Day but we did also start in early August we're here we start after Labor Day but or the week of Labor Day sometimes however we don't get out until the end of June literally this year our last day of school is the first day of summer and that's a long year a really long year we have an extra week break in February which I appreciate but it does make the year feel really long so by this point everybody's just kind of hanging on with a little tiny thread to get through and that's okay it's been a crazy crazy time my um, oldest my daughter my only daughter she goes to a votech school she's a sophomore and she was nominated for the national honor society and so she put in a ton of time and effort into that application if you've ever applied for that or helped your child or niece and nephew it's a very long and um, thorough application and plus an essay so she just found out this week that she was accepted so she'll get inducted next week when we go back i'm so proud of her and then my oldest son who is uh, in eighth grade was also um, accepted to the same regional votech school that my daughter goes to so he was thrilled and he had his placement testing so he was you know getting prepped for that and like i said then we're back into soccer and that was a pan that i didn't realize was there that I now have to wash that's fine but so everybody really had stuff that they were trying to get through my daughter had tests we've had our standardized testing uh, for the past couple of weeks the month of March and the months of March and April are just filled with testing and everything so it's just been really hectic so when we get home and everybody's burnt out from giving school 100% of their effort all of us it's okay if the dishes go undone. I'm okay with it. I know that there is a misconception by a lot of people that I am a clean freak. I am not a clean freak. I clean my house constantly, not because I need everything to be perfectly spotless. It's because 
that's how I deal with anxiety is to clean. And when I have a clean visual space, it helps to ease my inner space, like my mind. So those are my coping strategies, which is why I am constantly cleaning. I recently had that conversation with someone and if that's not how you cope, that's okay too. And sometimes I can't cope that way. Sometimes I just have to let things go until they get to a place where I'm like, oh no, everybody get down here. We're cleaning together because mama can't handle this. So you got to do what's right for you and handle things the way that you have to handle things. And that's okay. That is perfectly okay. So like I said, I wish I could have shown you what the house looked like before. It was a little bit embarrassing, but truth be told, that's just where we were at mentally. And this is where I'm at mentally now. It's all put back together and it's spring break. It's time to relax and enjoy and get myself put back together, get ahead in videos again, film a bunch so that I can feel like I am not rushing every weekend to try to get things done. I can't wait to feel caught up. There's nothing better in the world than that feeling. Thanks for listening to my rant. I left this tablecloth on my table for the entire week because I just absolutely loved it. It's so pretty. I decided I'm going to use it for the 4th of July as well. However, the only problem that I had with it is that because it was it's so nice, my cats kept trying to lay on it and we don't allow our cats on the table or the countertops or anything like that. So I felt bad because I kept spraying them to get them off the table, but I just, I can't have them up there. And so I finally took it off. I washed it. I put it outside to dry since it was so warm and so dry outside. So now it just smells delicious and lovely, but I really do love it. And I thought to myself yesterday, I'm going to use this for the 4th of July. I think that would look really pretty if I could find some gorgeous um, napkins for that. I, I'm going to do it definite tablescape for that. Fourth of July is one of my absolute favorite holidays, which is kind of funny because I hate fireworks, but I love Americana decor. That's how I love to decorate my house for the entire summer, which we're going to be doing here soon so I can get it up before Memorial Day, but I'm definitely going to have to use that um, tablecloth for that, which is good. I, I love to be able to use things multiple times. And the other tablecloths, the burlap ones that I picked up at Hobby Lobby this year that have the ruffles, I've used those numerous times and I love them. I think they're beautiful and neutral and perfect. So, so glad and so happy with the choices that I've made in those uh, tablecloths this year. While I'm cleaning off the benches here, I also want to mention those, um, house slippers that I have on my feet. I don't know what you would call them, flip-flops or slides. Um, they are like a dupe for the cloud. Uh, I think they're cloud slippers or cloud slides. Um, I got them, you guys, at five below. They were $5 and they're wonderful for in my house. These are my in the house shoes. I don't wear them out. Um, I only wear them when I'm in my house. I like that. I, I don't like for there to be a lot of shoe wearing in the house. When I have guests, I don't make them take off their shoes. That's not a problem. But for our day-to-day -day life, I do try to have everybody take their shoes off. But these have been great. So if you've been looking for something like that, you don't want to spend a ton of money, a ton of money on just your house slippers, check out a five below if you have that by you. Again, $5 and they've been a great little um, house slipper. I actually got Danny a pair too.
as you can see, my sofa is still covered in laundry and that's just because we have so much, we're kind of just letting it all, you know, pile up and then we'll put it all away together at once. But I did want to give my sofa table a good wipe down. It had a lot of like rings on it from people putting um, drinks or something on it. I try really hard not to let anybody put something on there without using a coaster because it does um, leave a mark that I can't get off. So I've got coasters on both sides and that's why it's here. So you can put a drink on it from the sofa. That's not a problem. And this is the bulb arrangement my mother-in-law gave me for Easter. Everything is open and smells fantastic. I'm going to plant all of those bulbs when they're done. I'm also going to go ahead and put away the heater now for this season. We don't need it anymore, so we're going to put it down in the basement until next year. And I'm going to bring out that nice little... A greenhouse that my husband bought me last year inside of it right now I have an ivy that has grown really big it's been living in my room um, until I was ready to bring it back out so this just looks really cute here I think I might want to find a nice little cabinet or something for right here but we'll see I think it'd be a great spot to hold like cookbooks and just decor but we'll see the greenhouse works perfectly fine for now I do wish it was a little bit taller but it is really pretty we picked this up at Walmart last year and it's from the better homes and gardens line and I just think it's really cute With the weather being so nice lately, we have had so much action happening here on this back porch. We did a lot of cooking out here and the kiddos have been coming back and forth from the trampoline and just exploring in the woods. So tons of handprints all over the glass because what better way to push a door open than one hand on the knob and the other hand on the glass, right? Oh, drives me crazy actually happened while I was cleaning Griffin came running up the stairs needed to come inside you're gonna see him come running up the stairs I think I actually think I cut it out but um, yeah he put his hand just right there on the glass thank God it was on the outside I hadn't washed, hadn't wiped it down yet but just giving this a good wipe down still don't have our backyard done we are waiting on our builder to come excavate our yard plant all the seed so we can get some grass back here so he says in the spring it is definitely spring so hopefully hopefully soon I cannot wait to have a backyard Danny got a sprinkler system put in in our front yard which has been amazing not only for the grass but for my kiddos and we did film a lot of it so I'm gonna show you how you can put in a sprinkler system for really really cheap and I can't wait to show you more outside yard work we've been working on the front yard and I've been filming it as we go I just haven't been able to do everything all at once just a little bit at a time so stay tuned there's going to be more of that I love having outdoor content I love gardening and being outside so here's my house most of it put back together and I'm feeling so much better feeling refreshed Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. I hope you found some motivation to get something checked off your list. And remember, if you can't get through your dishes or through the laundry and you need to just give yourself a rest, that comes first. Always give yourself grace. Thank you guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.